This is your guide to the AVS video editor and video editing for beginners using Windows PC. I'm going to show you an easy step-by-step -step video editing process which you can use to start creating professional videos in just minutes. Hey guys, it's Ben Taylor here from Ben's Guide where we create reviews, tutorials and guides to help you learn photography, video and editing. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and join our friendly community here at Ben's Guide. Links to everything mentioned in the video today can be found in the video description. Video editing can be a huge challenge when you first start out and many beginners don't know how to edit a video. The good news though is when you start out with the right software, and that you learn a step-by-step -step process, video editing can become both fun and easy. One of the best video editors for people using Windows PC is the AVS Video Editor. This is because it's really easy to understand and it has a really intuitive design. Now watching the video today from start to finish, you'll be able to, at the end of the video, start making your own professional looking videos in just minutes. To get started, you can download the AVS video editor in the video description, and then you can follow along with the video today at your own pace. I've added a timeline to the video, which means that you can go through each section in your own time, pause it and practice if you want to. Let's jump in to the good stuff. Let's start making video. Okay, so AVS video editor is set up to be able to understand really simply. That's why it's a perfect video editor for beginners. Let's start. We're gonna first import media files. That's what you wanna do when you're creating a video. Get your media or video files into your video editor. You can do that here. Now select the video files that you want and click open. These have now imported into the AVS video editor. They show up in this current project here. Now, what we want to do now is we want to take a look at the timeline. This is the timeline area here, and this is where you edit your video. You apply transitions, video effects, text, music, and just about everything good happens in the timeline. So first up, if it looks a little bit small, we can just change this by clicking on the zoom bar here and just open it up a little bit. Next, you want to order your video footage to ensure that it's in the right order. Uh, now I've actually ordered mine by numbers, so it's landed in the right area. But if you want to change your clips around, click on a clip, drag it to the side, and then it will be replaced by the clip that you've just dragged it to. And now we're in order. So the first thing we're gonna start by doing here is we're gonna trim our video footage. The trim option is here. I'm gonna click on trim, and then it's going to bring up this trim box. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on this playhead, choose where I want the video to start here, click on this, which is marking, and then drag it to where I want the video to stop, which is there. Click on mark out. And now you can see that I've got this trim video and that's ready to go. I'm gonna click on OK, and then it, you can look at your timeline and it's the video that we've trimmed. Do this with the rest of your video footage to ensure that it's exactly how long you want it to be. Now the video footage is trimmed, it's time to add some cool transitions. You can see the options here in the AVS video editor are actually almost like step one, step two, step three. They're in order. So you've got media library, transitions, video effects, text, and so on. So we're gonna jump into transitions and you have a lot of transitions in this video editor. 578 to be exact, all transitions. That is a lot. There's some really cool ones, some crazy ones as well. And you can just click on them and you can see what they look like by this little kind of box here or this little preview area. Now I'm gonna start adding the transitions into the video 
to really kind of take it to the next level. So I'm going to click on Gaussian Blur first, drag that down to this arrow, and that's where the transition will seamlessly bring these two clips together. Now to edit the duration or the length of this transition, you just click on it and then click on transition. Now I can choose in the transition duration, it's a bit of a mouthful, to make this one second instead of two, but you can literally change it to what time you want. So I'm gonna click okay, and now let's have a look at what that looks like. So let's press play. And you've got that really nice cinematic blur bring you into the next video clip. Okay, so you can really just do this for each video clip if you want to. Just click on the area, choose the transition that you want from up here, and then just add it to the arrow, and then just go from there. So I'm just gonna choose a fade option. Let's choose this one, I think, that's nice. Drag it into the arrow again, click transition, and then choose one second duration. And do the same again for this one. I think I'd like another kind of fade, but like a white one. There we go, flashlight, that'll do. And then drag that into here. Click transition. It's really simple stuff, guys. You can't go wrong with this. And then just click on the duration and click OK. And now I've got the transitions lined up for this video. So I'm going to jump back into the media library. And this is where we'll see our timeline. Remember you can use this zoom option to get closer and further away. So let's just make that a bit larger. And now if I take this playhead all the way back to the start, I can now choose to start from here and preview what it looks like in this preview window. Brilliant. Now you can actually use HD footage or 4K footage in this video editor. So if you're asking yourself, will it take 4K video files? The answer is yes. So that is some really good news. Also, if you're editing for something like TikTok and not for YouTube, and you want to change this to a vertical um, platform for your phone, then all you need to do is click on this option and go on to custom and then you can add your own dimensions here. Nice and simple. So if I click nine by 16, click OK. I've now got this vertical timeline or this vertical video, which will be perfect for Snapchat, TikTok and Instagram Reels, things like that. So the next thing to do, I think we've added transitions to this. We've took it up a notch. Let's have a look at video effects. You've got over 86 video effects I think here and this is another one guys that you can go through and you can see that there is so many different options for you to choose from there's some really awesome ones there's some wacky ones and there's also some standard ones I mean you've got things like glass mosaic which is actually a really cool thing it's not going to work for the video I'm editing right now but you could apply these kind of things to videos that you're using and yeah, it could make a, a lot of difference and look really, really cool. But for right now, I think I'm actually not going to apply any videos to this. I might just drag sepia down here into the video timeline section and then just change the duration of it. And then you can just see that actually when you apply this under a video clip, then it's actually going to play for that video clip. So if I press play now, you can see that this sepia tone video effect has been applied. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that delete to go back a step. And something that I do wanna to add to the video and that you will be using a lot of your video is text. So I'm gonna click on the text box and I'm gonna choose titles. You've got quite a few different text options uh, available here. It looks a little bit dated, this section does actually. But if you go into this and delve into it a little bit more, you've got lots of options to play around with. So I'm gonna choose this 
one here, I think, because this is going across. It's quite a nice uh, transition. Click on it. And then all you need to do when you've selected your text is to just drag it down to the text, which says T area on your timeline and let go of it. And that is now going to show over this area right here. Now I don't want it to be that long. I think it'd be nice just to play it with the first clip. So I'm going to click on this, drag it back to this area right here. Now, if you want to edit the text, which you probably will want to do because you won't want it saying creeping line, you've got this edit text option. So you can click on that and edit the text right here. First thing I want to do is I want to go into the font option. You've also got brush. You can change the color. You've got shadow where you can add a shadow and you can add an edge to your text as well. But we want to change the size of the text. So let's bring this down to 36 out there. That's better. And then you can simply just click on it and move it around. So make it visible wherever you want in your video. Think about there's good. And type the text that I want it to say. So let's say day out with friends. That explains this video really nice. Okay. So I've now got day out with friends applied to the video. Should we have a look at what it looks like? So if I drag this back here, press play. And you can see that it rolls through at the start of the video there. And it's pretty cool. So what would a video be without audio? You usually like to add text audio, or if not text audio, you like to add songs to a video to like bring it to life. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna jump into Media Library and then we're gonna click Import. You can see that the clip is now showing up in the current project area. What we need to do is drag this now down to the music one here on your timeline. And because it's so long, we're gonna to need to zoom out a little bit and of course, we don't want it to play when the video is not playing. So we want to change the duration and I can bring the duration back here. OK. So now we've got music, which is actually added to the video as well. So what we want to do here with this music is we want to make it fade in and fade out. So it sounds quite natural. If you just double click on this red line, you can create this dot here, create a dot here and drag it down. Now we've got this, what you call an incline. And this is where the music starts quietly and gets louder. And it's kind of, it helps transition the music into the video. Now we want to do the same at the end as well. So we're going to double click, create this keynote, double click again create another keynote and then just drag this down. So we've got now this vertical drop off. Now there is another option inside of AVS video editor. In fact, there's plenty more, but one that we're going to look at, which is color. Now the color option in this video editor is actually, it's very basic, which is a little bit of a shame. It would be nice if it was a bit more in depth and you can make more changes and even color grade the footage. But for a beginner who's actually looking to just quickly create videos on the fly, then I suppose you're not looking to completely grade your video and you know enhance or change the color too much. But you do have the options here where you can make it cooler or you can kind of increase the temperature to give it that sunny look. You can even change things like the brightness and make it darker and brighter. One of the cool features inside this actually is that you can click apply to all occurrences. In English terms, that means that you can make a change to this clip. So let's make it warmer. And then if I click apply to all occurrences, it basically means apply to all videos. So rather than going through each video clip individually, you can do the editing of the color on one video clip, click this option, 
and it applies to all video clips, which is a really nice feature. Now the next option is to produce or export the video. This means you can now share it with family, friends, or you can export it to social media or even a website, whatever you want to do with it. So we're going to click produce, and then this is going to load and then provide us with the options to export. Okay, just go ahead and click next here. And now we've got some options which we can apply or change to actually get the settings that we want. So just click advanced. I find this is the best option. And then you can choose the frame size that you want. So we don't want it 1280 by 720. We actually want it 1920 by 1080, but you can go all the way up to 4K or you can go custom here. So I'm gonna click 1920 by 1080. Keep it at 30 frames per second because that's what the video is. And then everything else looks good. So now we can just go ahead and press next and create. Hopefully you've really benefited from the video today and you've managed to get something really useful that you can take home and get your teeth into. The AVS video editor, if you haven't already, is available to download in the description and there is a small fee for using the video editor, which is £30 for the year. Otherwise, you can pay £50 and get a lifetime subscription, which is a super good deal. Now, if you have enjoyed the video today, please hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.